Hello, my little minions. How are you today? I am good. Uh, it's actually been like two weeks since I last recorded, so you guys probably wouldn't have noticed. Um, but I... yeah, it's been a little while. Um, I've only had like very small amounts of time to, you know, play around on here. Um, but either way, I will show you what's happening. Um, so I did update to the latest version, which happened to give me uh, fans with wireless... No, fans with wired... Um, bleh. You can turn fans on and off, is, is what I was trying to say. Um, so I've fixed things up a little bit here. Let's let's just turn on the mercy thing here. So you can see I can go right up to these things and that's not a problem. Um, I changed things around here a little bit. This actually turned out to be very inefficient in this room because it will only, I think, spawn in a five by five by five area. Um, and so it was only like trying to get into this little area here, um, which isn't really a problem. I don't really mind so much. Um, sometimes they spawned up here and the fans couldn't get them, so I've got a nice lovely little conveyor belt. Um, they try and go to this corner, this just pushes them down, fan pushes them into the kill chamber, and that's all good. Uh, so kind of just fixed up those things a little bit. Um, I got some trophies. <laughs> um, yeah, and essentially just fixed all this kind of stuff up so that, you know, um, you can see what you want to see properly, um, and at the moment I've just got it spawning lots and lots of villagers, as you can see, tons of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's not the most efficient, but it does work, uh, so I am happy enough with that. Uh, if we head over here, I had to reset up this thing as well. Um, you may have noticed that I've got rid of all the other blackout curtains. It all got blown up for some reason, like a creeper blew up everything there. Um, which kind of annoyed me, but oh well. Um, let's just turn it off. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my god, there's lights in there! <laughs> and the thing went down. So there you go. Um, when you want it on... Um, yeah, sorry, no, hang on. When you want it on, the curtains come down so no light gets in. I was told just to use dark glass and that would have worked fine, but oh well. Um, and then when you want it off, you can turn all of that mess off. Um, the fans don't move at that point. I mean, I don't know, I'm not really too worried about that. What? I don't really know what they're trying to get though, because I can't figure out what's on the other side of that. Oh well, it doesn't matter so much. Um, so I'll leave that back on. So that's been rewired up. Uh, we've got sheep now, as you may be able to hear. I'm going to have to make a sound muffler or something. Um, but essentially, I needed a lot of wool. Uh, so all I did was hooked up a rancher and a tesseract. Um, the tesseract is pretty much just told to send items. I believe that's how this one's set up. Um, configuration. Oh no, just receiving energy. So I must have like a ender chest around the back or something. Um, this stuff is still normal, little baby things pop out that side, not a problem. Um, if we head over here this way, as you saw, I now have a chunk loader. Um, that was the reason why I was going into other dimensions like the nether, uh, and that just wasn't, you know, I wasn't able to use my system over there. Um, I've got a nice lovely little Emmy wireless access terminal, which means that if I'm close enough to this lot, uh, I can access all my items. I can't craft anything in it, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, but I mean, it still works. So provided I've, I've turned uh, by crafting, I mean, I don't have a crafting square. Um, I can still use the uh, the craftable items area. That's not a problem. Um, items requestable. Uh, damn it. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so, there we go. So I turn my phone on to silent and no vibrate so I don't get interrupted. Um, right, what else was there? Oh yeah, the magnet. I mean, magnet, pretty self-explanatory. Just picks up things nearby, which was quite useful uh, when I was over here. Hang on, where am I? Um, Y'all know all about bloody sugarcane. Um, 
I mean, I could set up one of those other things, but I mean, all I have to do is just run around this thing. And usually if I don't hit anything, it's all fine. Because look at that. Um, and just like so. And just like that, I've almost got a stack. And then if you do it while you've got Batform on, which is running right now. There we go. Um, this part's even easier. So you just head down like so. So, Magnet, pretty cool. This is only level 3, so it's not like it's a huge big deal or anything like that. Um, but it picks up everything that I want. So just like that, I've got two stacks almost. Uh, so much easier than just running around it. Uh, especially when most of it falls into the water. So that is that. Now, since I have played around for a long time, I need... I'll show you what's going on. I have like no power. <laughs> Or rather, I've got power, but it's all starting to run out now. If you look in here, basically my engines aren't always running. Uh, I had to add a whole second row just to try and make sure that power would go upwards. Uh, and then just like that, all my charcoal was gone. All of it. Uh, yeah, no cool. So if we look over here, no charcoal. I uh, don't want to put you there. Um, so essentially what we're going to need is some better power. Uh, and to do that, um, I don't know, I've thought of a few different ways of doing it. I could like revamp my uh, tree farm, which I have thought about doing. Um, I've even got it like all sorted out here. I've got hardened wood cutter there, um, which I took out. So that's not a problem. Um, hopper, you can directly feed in coal. I have lots of coal. Um, reinforce hull there. So if I put that back into the side, like so, then I believe I can re-edit it if I wanted to. Yeah, so I could. But what I do want to do is um, start upgrading this thing, because I think I can do that. Uh, so I could upgrade my wood, uh, make it so that this thing never ends up breaking. It's down to 7% durability again. Yeah, not cool. Um, what I was really wanted to do was get like a Galgadorian um, woodcutter, which it would still work with my thing right there, not a problem. Uh, what are you doing? I'm not even pushing R. Useless. Oh, it's... There we go. Um, oh, you know how to make me angry. Um, yeah, so kind of easy to make. Enderman just died. Uh, Galgadorian metal, which is made from smelting lumps of Galgador, which means that I need nine blocks of diamond plus stabilized metal. Uh, I have Galgador. Um, I don't think I have enough gas tears for that, which I was trying to get a ghast spawner. I think I do have a ghast. Yeah, there we go. It's firing it with a ghast in there, but my spawner is too small for it to spawn. Um, so that was one way. The other way is, uh... Instead of using these steam engines, which are using a hell of a lot of coal, what I could do just for a little while is set up a magmatic engine, or magmatic dynamo, I think. Uh, what's it called? Dynamo. Uh, steam, magmatic, there it is. Uh, which just requires inver. Not a real problem. Easy enough to make. Um, and so all I would have to do is just set up a few of those. That would work just fine. Um, I would get one of those uh, ender tanks, which transport liquid, which would be no problem at all. Uh, so that's that's kind of my plan. I think I might do the magmatic engines first, and then... Hmm, no, hang on a second. Okay, so here's how it's going to go down. Uh, ender tank, let's just grab one of those. Uh, and the other thing we might need are some ducks. Also, let's grab some of those. Uh, we'll go for the see-through ones, not a problem. Let's just put some of these things back. Um, and magmatic engines. So this is just like a temporary measure, uh, so not really too worried about that. Let's just craft 10 of those. And boom, boom, boom. Missing materials, invert ingot. Of course it is. Um, 
Invar ingot. How do I get more of you? What is your recipe, Invar ingot? <laughs> Invar. Invar. Invar ingot. There you are. Nope, nope. Does it have to be a blend? I think it does. Iron dust and pulverized ferrous. Well, that's just silly. Um, maybe I can put it through a other thing in the jigger. Um, other way. So here it is. Magmatic diamond mo. Grab some of these, and essentially I want them to replace this lot for now. Um, maybe I will uh, remove some of these. So do I have? This guy. Brilliant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can put that guy there. <laughs> Look at that. Instantly filled with lava. Brilliant. Um, and one. Uh, no, no. Get out. Get out. No. Um, That'll do. One, two, three. Um, output mode. No. Ah, forget. Um, pneumatic servos. Oh, yeah. I always try to have quite a few of those because they seem to be quite useful. Uh, on. Oh, there we go. So that should be filling these guys up, uh, and then no worries. Excellent. Cool. So those are all running, which I think is fantastic. You can start up, not a worry. And how much do these produce? About 80 per tick. So it all does the exact same, except this is nearly unlimited. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to just like run out. Um, but that's the plan, so that'll help, you know, boost up my stuff a little bit there, so I'm not just completely relying on charcoal. Um, are you still draining dramatically? Okay, not a worry. So maybe we'll have more than one. We'll um, have magma and the tree stuff. So I've been doing a little bit of stuff. You may not have noticed. I've got a nice, lovely new room here. Um, this is where I've moved my miscraft stuff. Uh, essentially, I've played around with this stuff a little bit. Um, if you look in here, I've got notebooks, I've got tons of pages in here. Uh, essentially, what I was doing, uh, I needed diamonds, I'm not going to lie. And when I was like buying things off the villagers, I noticed that I had a certain thing here. We just saw gold ore, um, dirt block, diamond ore block. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll have me a piece of that. Um, hang on, is it? Oh, there we go. One right click. Um, I think I need another notebook. Hang on. So, notebook. Essentially, you get one notebook and you pop it into here, like so. Maybe. No. Damn. Oh, hang on, I can just sort them like that. Okay, there we go. Uh, middle click will sort them. So, right click. So there it is. You've got a nice lovely diamond ore block stuck in that book there. It's just made a nice little copy. Um, you have to put ink in here, I believe. Um, notebook full of pages. That works. No worries. Um, let's see, what else can we do? I'm not, I'm not really too worried. We'll just put in like crystalline formations and diamond ore block. And we will see what pops out from that. Um, so you take that notebook. It's got stuff in there. Um, you right click there, which will take the pages out of that book. Uh, we could put the notebook back. And then I think you need to have a link panel as well. Um, which means... Uh, it's been a while since I was doing this. It's like a week ago now. Um, Let's see, paper, I think we need one of these bottles. So we'll put the bottle down there. 
Uh, we'll get some ink, which I think we need two of. I was killing a lot of squids. Not gonna lie. Okay. Ink, like so. Ink vial. That goes in there. Then you get a nice lovely link panel. And then you put that panel in with the rest of it. And I think it needs to be at the front. Yeah, there we go. So a link panel has to be in the front for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, but there we go. So we've got diamond ore blocks with... No. Crystalline formations. And those crystalline formations should be diamond ore blocks. I think it needs like a description and then a modifier. So diamond... Like so. Brilliant. Uh, and then there's another thing. I need an unlinked link book. Like so. So you just take your unlinked link book. You create them... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you can find out how. Um, let me just put in some of the stuff that I don't want to take with me. Um, I'll need the linking book. I'll need the descriptive book. And I might take my hammer with me as well. That'll be a good idea. Cool. So, descriptive book. Go into that diamond place. Voila. Um, now, keep in mind, I am probably going to have to re-log. Uh, be right back. And as soon as I stopped recording, it seemed to load, so that was kind of cool. Now let's see, will we find our diamonds? Okay, so crystalline formations didn't quite work the way I had expected it. That's kind of cool. And, oh yeah, there we go. Diamonds! Just like that. Um, so I bought my diamonds little thingy off of the villagers. Um, that seemed to work for me. I don't know about you guys. Ooh, and just like that, lots and lots of diamonds. So that's why I'm not really too worried about the Gal Gadorian stuff, because I can just go and make little places like this. Um, when you saw how much effort that actually took me, it was not a whole lot. Um, so that's how I'm going to get all my diamonds from now on. Uh, much, much more easy. Much more easy? Sure, why not? Um, and... Is that almost all of it? And you too. I should have taken the magnet with me too. That would have been cool. Um, right, so what is in this building? Oh, I see. Uh, meadow, forest biome, bayo biome, marsh biome, sky, wait, sky color, liquid essence. Liquid Essence. Oh, wait, no, it's Ars Magica 2. Uh, I'll take it anyway. And Sky Color. Okay, I'll leave those ones. I don't like them. Um, I was hoping, like, Liquid Essence was going to be the um, stuff from... Uh, come on, brain, you can do it. Um, essence Berries, you know, like the experience stuff, and that would have been cool. Could have pumped that stuff like directly into that tank and not have to worry about um, experience farms. Not a worry. By the way, so look at that. Just like that, we've managed to get a whole lot more diamonds. Um, supposedly, by having diamond ore blocks, it gives your world a whole lot more corruption. So don't be too surprised if things will start uh, corrupting in your world. Um, Try not to build any in any world kind of like that. What are you? Natura. Cool. Alrighty. Um, I don't see any other big diamond formations, so let's just go back for now. Um, actually, I might get some of this uh, nether quartz. Wait, no. No, I won't worry about it. I'll come back if I need nether quartz. But there you go. So that's how we're going to get diamonds. Uh, so with that... Let's just put that into there, and I'll handle that stuff later. Um, cool. So you get the idea. Uh, let me just put that stuff there. Be right back. Okay. So I want to automate the uh, the process of um, you know making things like invar ingots. However. To, like in order to do that I need to be able to do things like this you know putting stuff into induction smelters having that kind of stuff smelt and then putting it back into the system uh, not gonna work to be honest not the way that I would want it to this is would be very very frustrating 
unless uh, I do something very, very clever. And believe it or not, I can do clever things. Not very often, uh, but when I do, whew, you better watch out, son. <laughs> um, sorry, that's lame. So lame. Um, otherwise, so that's going to get the rest of my magmatic dynamos going. What I want to make are some of these dudes. Uh, so you look over here, ME interface. Um, that's the thing that lets me put stuff into my system. On top of that, if I would go ahead and... Uh, hang on, let me... I'm probably going to need more of those, actually. Um, let's see, can I do interface? Oh, I didn't realize I made so many of them. Um, so I would need one of them here. Uh, and maybe I've got one of those wrenches. There we go, quartz wrench, that'll do. Um, and what I need is this guy here, but I don't want him there. Hmm. That's part of the problem, because this guy would need power, but it also needs to go back into my system. Uh, okay. Let me just uh, figure that out quickly. Okay, I think this is how it's going to work. So... Essentially, um, no, I can't see it anymore. Uh, the normal pipe system kind of just flops up down around there. Um, it will travel through gold pipes, will make it, it go super fast. It goes straight into a basic logistics pipe, which doesn't really matter. Um, the whole point is that when it pops into one of these, it's told to just go to the default route, which means just put it straight back into the system. Uh, so that will be good. Now let's just test that. Um, Induction smelter, you'll do. You'll do nicely, I think. Um, didn't quite have enough iron for all that ferrous that we were trying to do. Not a problem. Uh, let's just pop you back in there then. If you're just going to be useless. Um, so it should work. So if I pop this down here, like so, it's getting power automatically. Fantastic. Um, hardened energy cell may not put out enough power. Uh, if that is the case, then I'll swap it out for a um, redstone one. Redstone. Send receive. Maybe I'll just take one of these. And we'll just pop that there in its place. Um, which means that I'm also going to need to replace all this cable. Of course I am. Um, so pop that down there. Um, receive power in the back send it out the front so he's going to charge up um, and then redstone ng conduit not a problem pop that down there so that'll make sure that enough power is getting to all these guys not a worry um, and essentially if I grab this I can tell this where exactly it needs to talk to so the interface can only talk to the induction smelter and then I need to create a nice lovely new recipe um, essentially saying that uh, iron so two of these and one ferrous I believe will make inver of what? I can't actually remember and the recipe's not in there. <sighs> Useless. Um, currently crafting two of those and it doesn't what, have the materials. Um, so hang on a second. Let's, let's just hold up uh, configuration. Don't send it anywhere. So if I... Hang on, let me just put this stuff in here. Um, so two of these and one of those. No. <sighs> right, so two of those and one of those makes how many of the other thing? Two and one. So that goes through just fine. Makes three invar ingots. Okay, not a worry. So what you do is you go over here, you say that makes three of those. You go encode not a worry uh, and then we can click on the interface and we say um, processing so it means that if it tries to put in two iron and one ferrous into this guy down here 
it will make three of that various ingots. Um, and then you want to say, do not push crafting items if inventory contains items. Um, I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, craft items needed while exporting. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to play around with it. Because um, I don't want to put that stuff in. Not for an induction spell. Okay, don't worry. Um, ignore contents of target inventory. So if I go ahead now and say that I want... Uh, we'll switch this over to crafting. And I want invar. Craft. Uh, let's just craft maybe 20 of them. So crafting 21, which means that that should have actually put some stuff in there. Why is it not putting it in there? Uh, probably because I've already got Invar. Hang on. So Invar, let's just take this stuff out. Good. Now craft me 20 of them. 42. I may need to reset the system, not going to lie. Maybe playing up a little bit. To be honest, I don't actually know how to reset it. One second. There we go. Okay, so that's draining out now. So that should end up turning off, I believe. Um, not entirely certain if I've got this set up correctly. Energy stored is none. Energy uses 43 AE per tick. Well, it still seems to be on. I know, I feel like I should just you know, not worry about that. Just leave that on normal. And, oh, was not meant to do that one. Um, well, let's put that back. So, <laughs> that's the best way I can think of for resetting this entire system. All that stuff is still in there, thank goodness. Um, put that back in there, so that's entirely reset. So, if I try and ask for Invar again... Um, just craft me 10 of it, please. Crafting, it's 12. Now, that should just end up working. Oh, I can't put it in because I haven't got an input slot. You dolt. Okay, so that stuff, and then output out the back. Output anything. Look at that. So that goes straight into our system. Um, fantastic not a worry um good so the concept is working that is all fine Alrighty. so we may as well finish off the last part of the uh the episode um i'm gonna end up adding or like maybe taking down most of those machines and bringing them down here uh you don't really need to see that so much you kind of get the idea um add in the pattern and they start processing stuff automatically it's fantastic uh, so the last part I want to do is make it so that we can have basically unlimited wood. I'm tired of this thing breaking down, uh, so we'll get that stuff sorted. Um, so, right, uses. Uh, Galgadorian metal, which is made from Datlart. Um, I'm going to have to bring down my furnace thing. I'm not entirely sure why I want to do it this way. Um, hmm. I'll figure it out. Um. Oh, go away. And so Galga is down like so. Uh, lump of Galgador requires all that stuff. Do I have any stabilized metal? I've got 10 of them. Okay. Maybe I'll be able to just like make it. That would be kind of cool. Galga Dorian. Um, so I get two lots from that. And how many do I need? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to make three sets of this. Um, okay, so that stuff is missing. Can I make those right away? Um, and how many of those do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So can I make nine? Let's <laughs> see what ends up missing first. Uh, seven. Damn it. Okay, let me go get some more gas tears. Okay, welcome to the new face power moment. I accidentally cleared my inventory because I've made myself an admin on this little server. I have got nothing in my inventory. Not a thing. Everything that I'd uh, had in my inventory right at that second is gone. 
Um, I may see if I can just go back through some of the other saves. I don't know. I may end up just taking that as a penalty. Um, yeah. So I don't have any of the gas tiers that I just went to go get. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. I'm going to... Excuse me. I'm going to cut the episode there. Uh, try and figure out what exactly I've lost and uh, try and get all that stuff back. I mean, I've got a little bit of stuff. Got <laughs> I got an axe and a shovel. The most. Uh, I mean, it's not like, like huge deal. I can probably just end up making that stuff all over again. I suppose. <laughs> Ugh. Either way. So, I hope that you guys are having a good day. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little upgrades to my system. Um, everything here is running on magma power now, except for like these two down the end. Um, figure I may let that stay there. Um, so, at least I'm having a little bit of power trickle into my system if I run out of uh, lava. I don't think I will, but not really too worried. Um, yeah. Damn it. Why would I... Do not type in slash clear. Because, oh. Could not clear my inventory this time. No, no items to remove. There's no undo to that. Man, I'm stupid. Um, do I... Okay, so I at least kept that lot. That stuff is expensive. <sighs> so I'm going to recuperate this stuff. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the additions to my world. Um... And I will be doing a world download eventually. I will let you guys know. Um, I'll try and make something that's, you know, worth downloading. Um, yeah. Once again, have a good day. Catch you guys next time. Bye. I